for the liquid and the plastic limit, how do we get ready to do that test? What sample preparation do we do? Yeah, so first, um, with this time we take the advantage of the bulk density samplings. So uh, either by the excavation method or real method, and we get this sample. And first, we need to save the sample through this uh, number 40 mesh. So then the size is 0.4 to 5 millimeter. For the liquid limit test, uh, we use this cathograde apparatus. And uh, here is the cup, and this is a base, and this is a crank, and there is a counter here. We've sieved a sample, and we need to add moisture to it to get a certain moisture content to start using this Casagrande apparatus. So how do we pick a moisture level, and how do we mix that up? I should say it depends on your experience. So like the first time you want to make it quite easily. But with experience, you would know when you should start to add in water. So this is a sample I prepared yesterday. So I put it in the fridge, and this morning I took it out and incubated to the room temperature. And let's see, so. And does it always have to sit overnight, or can you prepare it and use it right away? Um, for a good taste, normally you have to incubate it for okay. uh, some time. So, and then we apply this sample so to the cup. And you want to pack it in there in the bottom, sort of squish it in, or yeah, loosely? yeah, just uh, let it stay at the bottom, and make it uh, the surface kind of round. Smooth it out. Yeah. Okay. So and now. Looks pretty smooth, and it's sitting right in the bottom of the cup. Yeah. Flat. So the aim is to make a good contact with the uh, uh, surface of this cup. Okay. And now we just uh, cut a groove, so this way. It's the same groove all the way to the bottom. Yeah. And uh, so you can start now. Okay. Okay, stop. Now, now we can see um, the groove connected to o a little bit over 13 millimeter, but it was not at the uh, the last uh, uh, or the last one before before we stopped. So it's, it's at the right time that we stopped. Mm -hmm. So you always put a ruler at your side, and you can see like what's the 30 millimeter here, and then you just compare it. And uh, now we just look at the numbers we applied. So it uh, it re reads uh, 39. Okay, so it took 39 strokes or turns for the groove to start coming together enough. Yeah, and uh, it, because it's 39, which means that the soil is still a little bit uh, too dry, so we need to add more wa uh, water and to, to mix it again, and then to incubate it and uh, do the test again. So we adjust it and yeah. try again until it's yeah. between what numbers? Uh, between 15 to 35, between so not just uh, four points over. So, so close. Yeah, we have to do it again. Okay, so we'll put in the adjusted sample and sort of cross our fingers that we have the right moisture content this time. Mm -hmm. So we've got our groove and we're ready to crank again? Yeah. Okay. Now you can go. Okay, stop here, right? So now uh, the groove just connects uh, to about uh, 30 millimeter. And uh, so the number of the strokes is? 32. 32. So, so for perfect. within the range, perfect. So we can use this number and then we use the formula to get the liquid limit okay. for this test. So I guess that's what this is about, is finding the water yeah. content where it's going to yeah. behave like that. Right. Okay. And I always do uh, three replicates. So I get the one sample from each test. And I see you're just taking that subsample from right where the groove met. Yes, from exactly. The strokes yeah. from the middle. Yeah, I think uh, this part just reflects uh, what uh, soil behaved, right? Okay. 
So that goes into the moisture tin. Yeah. And you get the fresh weight, and then you put it in the oven, so it gets the dry weight again, as we did okay. for the bulk density so test. So weigh it, dry it, weigh it. Yeah, so you get the water content, and then you use a formula. So uh, by using the water content, a number of these strokes, okay. and you get your liquid limit. We can calculate the value. Yeah. Excellent. And you take a three, and you get the average, so that's your final. Okay. So we do the other two just from the same yeah. sample. Yeah. At another uh, point is that if it's very hard to get the liquid limit, sometimes for some samples, which means that there should be no plastic limit. So because we are going to do the plastic limit soon, so this may be just sometimes several time. Okay. Yeah.